the British Isles during the Triassic period. A land ruled by prehistoric giants, now long gone. But there is a species that's still here. For over 200 million years, it hasn't changed in size or appearance. These prehistoric beasts are triops, the oldest creatures on Earth. Recently, triops have been discovered off the west coast of Scotland in Calabric, only the second population of these living fossils within the UK. Dr Larry Griffin from the Wildfowl and Wetland Trust monitors the numbers of these triops. Well, I am very excited indeed, because I haven't seen these things in the wild. They should hopefully be sitting up in the shallows, maybe in uh, some of these cattle prints here. Ah, what, what? Are you joking? See, over there, um, it's the slight shape, just off that little ridge of mud there. I can see it, it's yeah, that pale shape. It. Yeah, it's quite a large one, actually. Are they sort quick? Of, they're, fairly, they're fairly nippy. Oh, that yeah. is incredible. Look at that. That's the first time I've ever caught a prehistoric monster. My goodness, that is a fair beast, isn't it? Triops are crustaceans and are related to crabs, lobsters, and even our woodlice. With their hard exoskeleton, sensory antennae, and specialized limbs, they feed on anything from dead animal matter to cow dung. And the three eyes, you can see why they're called triops, because they've got these three little eyes at the front. Two eyes on either side are their actual eyes, and then there's a tiny one right in the middle, which is a single little eye. What is really amazing to me is that you know, here we are, and we, as a species, evolved only a fifth of a million years ago on the plains of Africa. This thing, 200 million years old. I mean, what a survivor. Yeah, yes. I guess that design is still suited to this sort of habitat. It's quite a simple habitat. There's not a lot of other kind of competitors in there, and there's been no tinkering with it, particularly by evolution. It's, it's stayed as it is. And as they say, if it ain't bust... If it ain't bust, don't, don't, don't fix, fix it. it. Yeah, 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 that's yeah. true. It's just amazing. Living in shallow pools, they have a remarkable life cycle. An individual triops is both male and female, meaning that you only need one triops for a population of these beasts to develop. Their eggs can withstand extreme weather conditions and even lie dormant in the mud for over 10 years, waiting for the conditions to be just right. This, as a species, makes them pretty bomb-proof. It does look prehistoric, it really does. Larry has been able to learn more about the specialised existence that triops lead using captive populations. Right, now, you've got some here which you've been growing up. Yeah, these guys are, what, weak to ten days old? <laughs> so very small, really. They are amazing to watch, aren't they? Larry is also hoping to find undiscovered triops populations in other parts of the UK. What we want to try and establish is really getting to the bottom of whether they are more prevalent across the country, whether they have actually got a wider distribution than we're currently seeing at these two disparate points 400 miles apart, basically. And so you're, you're hoping that, that it isn't simply a site in Scotland and a site in Hampshire, that there are little sites all over England and Wales and Scotland? That's it, yes. We'd really like to get a firmer hand on whether there really are a few more little relic populations that haven't been found yet. So it'd be quite easy to overlook them, it really would. Mm. So the next time you're out walking in a field that looks like this, keep your eyes peeled in the puddles and pools because you might have just walked past the UK's only living fossil.